Looking at typing equations in Google Docs, it's a bit of a pain, but it's nice to have for small things. If you're doing lots of math, I wouldn't recommend trying to type it all up unless you're a math teacher and you have to do it. Uh, we used to use MathType, but they want to pay money for it, so I'm now using Equatio, and I've actually installed it on everybody's Google Chrome uh, loyal learning accounts already. If you click on it, it's going to open up this editor at the bottom. A couple different ways we can do it. We can use the equation editor and type things. Bit of a pain to do that sometimes. You can also, if you want to look at the latex editor, you can find out all the codes and stuff. But let's jump over here to uh, speech input first. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. I talk, it types, and it actually gave me the nice uh, formatting there as well. Then I can go into this and I can start editing if I want to. I use this one quite a bit. It's Pythagorean theorem, so I think I'm going to give it to my favorites, and I'll just call it Pythag. And now, if I wanted to use that again, say in a new line, I can go into my favorites and just go ahead and grab that anytime I want, and I can type it again, and then I can use that to start changing it into some numbers if I wanted to. Okay, so there's one way, and when I'm done, I say insert math. It's going to show up on my screen here, and I can come back to it again if I want to. Let me just close this for a minute. And if I want to edit it, I can go back into my equation editor and change things around. So it's not like it's lost as, a, as an image. You can type it and change it as well. Other ideas on here you can do is uh, handwriting. So let me get rid of this one for a minute and do something new. If I said 3x uh, plus 2, then it's going to go ahead. I, I handwrite and it types it for me so I can insert that. So that's really nice. And the last one I want to show you is something really cool where it integrates with my favorite graphing program, and it's called, which is called Desmos. And I can type things in here and do graphs, and I can add the graphs if I want to. I can even take this, and uh, if I highlight everything just like in the math one, and I hit the slash key, which is next to the shift key underneath your exclamation point, uh, I highlight that. That means I want to do it into a fraction as well. And so that's going to work. And then whenever I want, I can say insert graph. goes right on my page as well, straight from Desmos. So that's some equation editing.